Welcome. This is officially day one of Comic Con San Diego. Yesterday was preview night. Great to be back, meet some old friends. And of course, we stopped by Crack and Dice. This is a set of the polyhedral dice, 14 piece. Orange is not normally a color I fancy, but these kind of reminded us of Halloween. And they glow in the dark. But what this video is for, and we apologize for the noise, we're sitting right next to a air conditioner. This here is their gelatinous cube um, mystery box. Supposed to have seventy dollars worth of things in it. And I thought I'd do a quick unboxing because if there's amazing stuff in there, I'll get uh, probably get another one today. I remember when they launched this online on their website, they sold out immediately. So I was quite excited to find these. So let's open this up. Uh, we don't have a blade with us. Okay, I'm gonna have to pick this off. Today we're hoping to get a book signed by Chuck Tingle, his latest creation is a horror novel called Camp Damascus. If you're not familiar with him and not open-minded, you'll probably see him as a bit of an oddity, but uh, he's an amazing character, quite fun. There's also a few panels we'll be going to today, I believe. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Alright, so this is a... Looks like a D20. Oh, and it's got an eyeball in it. You see that? <laughs> it's like one of those jet balls. Super cool. I didn't see this at the uh, booth. This one's also translucent, and I can't rightly tell what's inside it. Let's check it out. What is this? It's another jet ball. It's a dragon eye. Okay. Look at that. Huh? Incredible. All right. Let's put you away. Come on, man. Here's the random set of polyhedral dice. Looks like a uh, fairy dust to me or something. And he's got the smooth, the rounded edges, which I prefer. I don't know if they're getting popular, if they tried bringing them back, but the latest addition to the dice creations were the sharp edged dice. Don't fancy them too much. Oh, here's the full 14 piece set, right? Well, it doesn't have the giant D20, but this is a nice set. So many dice. I'm going to have to get a... Uh, they were also selling the crystal uh, containers for these dice sets. <laughs> Look at that keychain. Awesome. What's this? Oh, I'm hearing more dice in here. It's a nice little bag, too. Let's see what we got. I just might have to get another one of these. This is pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Here's the big 14-piece die set. Look at that. It's all nicely marbled. Really cool. Wow. And it looks like we have a few more things. We've got a figure. What is this? It's called Invisible Cubes. Quite appropriate. Here we have uh, one of their vel one of their Velcro patches for the bags. These are really nice, very well made. But I do not have the bag. I'll have to find something else to put it on, or possibly get the bag. And finally, we've got this picture. 
Eh, digital Atmos cube. All right, I'm quite happy with this. I do want to find a way to utilize this stick uh, patch, though. It's a Velcro patch, so I guess you you, uh, you sew on the fuzzy side, so this side can stick on it. Let's look at the invisible cube again. Oh, okay. Look. It's uh, translucent. That's cool. They've really upped their game. Um, we went by Chessex yesterday and, and just kind of walked by. The, that was usually the highlight of our trip to Comic Con. I suppose at some point we'll do a dice mug video at Chessex. People seem to like that. I know I like it. There's nothing wrong with Chess X at all, really. Uh, I supported them for a long time, and this is probably just a new hotness, something else to be excited about. We got a couple of pins. Um, we went to Capcom. We're going to go to Blizzard today. A couple of panels. I'll try to do some videos of the show full. So this has been a brief unboxing, I'll have to do a proper one when we get back, of the Gelatinous Cube Mystery Box from Kraken Dice. These guys are quite amazing. Thank you so much. Stay healthy. Always be kind. Take care.